If ROE holds the key to the story, what does it unlock? If we open up ROE, we see that it is made up of three primary ratios. ROE can be set equal to the net profit margin of the business multiplied by its total asset turnover ratio multiplied by its degree of financial leverage. If you look at the formulas for the three ratios and consider how to multiply fractions, you will see that sales and total assets cancel each other out. This leaves us with our original formula of net income divided by equity, or ROE. Profitability is probably the most obvious lever that anyone would look to. By improving profitability, a company will improve its rate of return for shareholders. Efficiency is another important lever. How well are assets being used to generate sales? If a company has low margins, it may focus on being more efficient with its assets to generate more sales and in turn improve return on equity. Finally, the financial leverage of an organization, while not an operational item, can be a strategic choice by a company to help improve the return on equity. Increasing financial leverage has the effect of reducing the amount of equity relative to the amount of total assets to the firm. Having a lower equity base makes it easier to have a higher return on equity.